that blood coming out. Watch him. Watch him. Look at that blood. Watch him. Watch where he goes out of the field. I got him. Right behind that big tree. There he goes. He's towards that one power line. I can't see him now. Like a pretty good shot on him. Yeah, boy. There's Dynamic Outdoors right there. Hey, oh. good job. Good shot. Good shot. I tell you, man, that, these deer are tough. I mean, you hit him. I like you hit him really good. And, and that, he still went. That's like, a big body deer. Hey, he still went 300 yards that we could tell and jumped the fence. And it looked like a perfect shot to me. You know, it's amazing how when you shoot these big deer, how they can take that bullet. I mean, that, that's, you know, that bullet's traveling 3,000, 3,200 feet per second, smoking. It's getting it done. Of course, we're shooting 240 pound deer, too. So That's a big deer. That was the largest deer out there, I thought. Yeah, oh, it was by far. He's a six-year-old buck, uh, high 130, pushing push 140, big eight point, actually a nine. Got a, if you notice on his back, uh, G2 on the right side. Yeah, he's got a kicker. A little kicker. Dude, I'm stoked now. Hey, let's go see if we can find him. Yeah, hey, let's do that. Hey, thanks, good man, job. thanks. That's a big boy. Hey Brandon, congratulations. Thank you. On your first South Texas whitetail, and he is a monster. You know, we was thinking when I first seen him the other day, you know, pushing 130, but I seen him from a distance, you know, right. getting late, but no doubt this deer is pushing 140, if not better. So right. uh, good wide spread, probably 21 inch inside spread, good time length, a lot of mass, and one of the most critical criteria is is the uh, seven years of age. So uh, right. we try to shoot deer that's old. Oh, okay. um, he's in his prime. And uh, that's the type of deer we want to take out of here. Long, long G1s, heavy G2s, threes, long beams. He's got it all. Yeah, nice little kicker. Really good, uh, yeah, actually nine point. Really good deer. Um, so a uh, great hunt. Congratulations. Hey, thank you. On a beautiful Looking South forward. Texas whitetail. And you guys stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Dynamic Outdoors. Uh, thank you. Great job. Brandon Riddle, Gainesville, Florida. Y'all stay tuned for more dynamic outdoors, South Texas deer hunting. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah, yeah, he's down right there. Yeah, he's down. I thought he was going out the field for a minute. I did too. Whew. That was that was nerve wracking. I'll put this thing down. Good job. Oh man. Oh, man, he got behind those turkeys forever. I know it. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah, a big gobbler right there. He's a big gobbler. You hear him gobble after you shot? Yeah. What I shot at first, I thought he didn't really act like he got hit. I know it. He didn't jump up or kick back or nothing. Oh, you drilled him. He started doing that wobble by the time he got to the fence line. Mm -hmm. He didn't go far. We were looking at him on the edge of the field, so he's done. Yeah. He probably ran, what, 50, 60 yards? If that much. Yeah. yeah. Hey, great shot. Thanks, man. Let's go check him out. All right. He is, he's a big boy. 
Man, look at the body on that deer. Look at that thing. That little kicker right there. Man, good brow tines. Good and wide, I bet he's 20 inches. Good deer. <laughs> yeah, we uh, came in here this morning before daylight. Uh, we got in here, run a big buck off. Um, had a full moon last night, so, you know, we were worried they are gonna be up feeding all night, but got in here and got in the blind nice and early, and, you know, I don't think it happened, it wouldn't have happened if uh, we didn't get here early. Uh, Big deer, big mass, about a 140, pushing 150 probably. Real heavy, real heavy deer. My name's Brandon Reeb from Gainesville, Florida, and we'll be right back with more whitetail hunting in South Texas. Hey Brandon, congratulations. Thank you. Beautiful South Texas whitetail, big 11 point. Yeah. Fine buck. Um, we got in here this morning, what, 30 minutes before daylight? Mm -hmm. Which it pays to get in there early. You know, a lot of times we're running late. If you are running late and you're running deer out of the fields, it could be a problem because it could be the deer you're looking for. Right. So we got in here early, pitch dark, and as the uh, sun started to come up, we could see silhouettes, and he was one of them. He so, was one of them. <laughs> beautiful buck. Uh, high 140 class, pushing 150. You know, it's one of them deer that you look at, it, his body's so big, when you see his rack, yeah. you think, uh, he might be 140. When you walk up to him... He got way bigger. No ground shrinkage. None. He got so, bigger. But he's a, a beautiful, beautiful deer. Probably 20 inch inside spread. 11 pointer, heavy. That's what you're looking for. Exactly what I'm looking for. Hey, great job. Thank you. Uh, your buddy Brandon, he killed one yesterday. Yeah. Real nice him. deer. A uh, uh, deer actually wound up scoring 137. Yeah. Uh, 21 inch wide. This is at least 20. Yeah. This is going to probably hit mid 140s, maybe pushing 150. You might. So, uh, great hunt. Two great hunts. Yeah. Awesome. You guys stay tuned. We'll be right back with more South Texas deer hunting with Dynamic Outdoors. Last 10 minutes. I'm not sure if the camera can even pick any of this up. Last 10 minutes of light, and this buck finally came in. I tell you, that's the way it works. You know, you see a lot of deer during the day, uh, late in the evening, but then the last 10 minutes is when your big bucks show up. Great shot, Dave. Good job. Thank you, Doug. Let's go check this bad boy out. Put on him. Doug, here we are in South Texas. Some fine white tail. Got a nice nine frame here. My son Brandon and his best friend Brandon killed two earlier. And we're gonna top it off with this beauty. He's nice 11 point, beautiful deer.